Hello class and welcome to the week 10 uh, video update blog. Um, I got through the scavenger hunt um, sheets that you did, forms that you filled out, and I really appreciate all the feedback I got on those forms. Um, not just the answers to the questions for the review, but also at the end where I, where I asked you for some honest feedback about the class. And I wanted to take this blog today to address a few of those things that, that you talked about there. So here goes. Um, uh, one of you, uh, a couple of you actually mentioned um, in terms of one thing you wish you could change, extending homework to uh, uh, on the Tuesday deadline, having trouble with the Tuesday at noon deadline. So I'm extending that until midnight. So uh, that started with this module. You may have noticed that the deadline for the week 10 module is mid Tuesday at midnight. And uh, that's an easy fix. And it'll be Tuesday at midnight uh, from this point forward. So all of the uh, weekly endpoint deadlines will always be Tuesday at midnight. Uh, others of you mentioned that the Friday deadline is problematic because of work schedules. And so I'm extending that deadline as well. Um, anytime we have a midweek deadline, I'll make it Saturday at midnight. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any problem making that change. So the midweek deadlines are always Saturday at midnight. The end of week deadlines are always Tuesday at midnight. Uh, the only thing about the Saturday deadline, keep in mind, is that gives you a shorter span in theory for response and reply uh, posts. Um, so uh, just, you know, it shortens that part of the week. But but that's that's fine. So both those changes have been made. Uh, a couple of you cited the Grammar Rodeo uh, as your favorite thing. That was um, that was cited uh, a number of times as favorite things. So it made me feel bad that I hadn't done more of those. So I'm adding more, uh, including one that I put in today. Uh, it's a day early. It's Friday Grammar Rodeo, but I put it in there on Thursday. Um, so it's a day early this week. So go in and look at it. It's titled Pronoun Trouble or Don't Get Your Head Blown Off. Um, you'll have to go read it to figure out what that means. Uh, and as a bonus for, for this week only, probably, if you do it, I'll give you uh, 10 uh, makeup points for, you know, any homework assignment that you may have missed. So if you want to get a, a makeup for homework activity, um, just post the worksheet on your journal. There's a little worksheet to fill out there. Just post it in, in your journal. Post the answers to your journal or attach it. Uh, and in the the actual lesson, there's a Google Forms doc that asks a question. So just make sure that you fill in the question and submit an answer. Um, that's also a way that I'll know who actually did the activity and who didn't. So if you do it, uh, I'll give you 10 homework points uh, as makeup for whatever you missed. A um, couple of you mentioned uh, that the due dates weren't as clear as they could be. One of you asked for electronic checklists. So I'm going to try to make sure all the deadlines are clear. Uh, I'll put a checklist at the beginning. I thought I'd been doing that. I'm, I've probably missed a few weeks, though. I'll make sure every module has a checklist at the beginning, you know, the top of every module. And I'll, I'll try to make sure that that clearly lists all the deadlines for the week. Uh, also keep in mind that the actual folder that, um, that contains the module, the folder itself also lists deadlines. So there are at least two places you can look at in addition to uh, at the specific assignments. Um, uh, one of you, uh, only one of you, mentioned uh, posting grades faster. One of you asked to post grades faster. I'm sure that reflects a desire that a lot of you feel. Um, and so I'm, I'm sorry that I haven't posted them faster. Uh, I'm going to try to update at least one or two modules every week. Um, so uh, uh, sorry that that hasn't been done quicker. Um, I think by next week I can get the tech uh, uh, technical description assignment done. Um, but I'll try to get one or two modules every week. Um, so uh, moving on from the feedback, uh, group projects. Uh, this week, the pl project planning document is due. Uh, I've noticed that some of the some of the people haven't really been collaborating with their group yet. Um, there have been some great collaboration so far, and then there have been some um, some barren wastelands <laughs> where where people aren't really collaborating or people that haven't gone in there much or or at all so just keep in mind that the grading is the same as last time uh, 60 points for the document 20 points for a group grade and then 20 points for an individual grade and it's virtually impossible 
to get a passing grade on the assignment if you don't collaborate, if you don't work with your group. So just keeping that in mind. Um, if those of you who haven't gotten a Widgeo, haven't, haven't done that collaboration, uh, if you want to pass the assignment, you really have to get in there and do that. Uh, that's it for this week, uh, except for uh, the Thursday Thinker. This week's Thursday Thinker is titled Elevator Money, and it goes something like this. Three guys go into a hotel, go up to the hotel manager at the desk, and ask for a room. Hotel manager says it's 30 bucks a room. So each guy puts $10, $10 down on the counter. Hotel manager gives them a key. The three guys get in the elevator, head up to their room. While the guys are in the elevator, the hotel manager thinks about it and realizes that he gave them the wrong price, that the rooms are actually discounted today, that they're $25 instead of $30. So he rings up the bellboy, gives the bellboy five bucks, and says, go up to the room and give them, give this, you know, give them their five dollars back. So the bellboy goes in the elevator, heading up to the room, and he starts thinking about it. He says, you know, this five bucks, they don't really know how much the room is supposed to cost, and they can't split this five dollars evenly really anyway. So I'm gonna keep two dollars and just give them back three dollars. So they'll each get a buck back, they'll be happy, and they won't know the difference. So let's re recap. Three guys each paid $9. That's $27. And the bellboy kept two. That adds up to $29. Where's the 30th dollar? That's the question for this week. If you can figure out where the 30th dollar went, go to the discussion board and post. I will see you online.